Welcome back to my Sound Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're finally doing it my new coffee bar reveal. Before we get into the reveal, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do so. You guys can also find me over on Instagram where I make daily coffee recipe videos. I talk a little bit of luxury and all the things that I love. If that's something that you're interested in, you can find me right here. Let's check out my new coffee bar. Alrighty guys, so this video has been a long time coming. You guys know that we moved in May of this year, we bought a house, and so getting my coffee bar together has been quite the challenge. Um, we have a lot of space in my kitchen for the coffee bar, but I have planes going by. We have a lot of room in my kitchen for the coffee bar, but I opted not to do it there because the layout isn't as I would like it to be. Hopefully in 2024 or five, we can do a kitchen remodel and then I can configure the coffee bar there nicely. But I actually am really happy about the spot that I chose for the coffee bar. It's away from everything else. It's just my little haven. So let me give you a tour. Alrighty guys, so the one thing I will say is that the lighting on my coffee bar kind of sucks, but that's okay. We're going to work with what we can work with. Um, but I'm stepping up on a stepping stool just so that I can show you guys. I got a shelf to go on top of the coffee bar. Um, the shelf is from Restoration Hardware. I'd originally gotten one from Crate and Barrel, but actually from Pottery Barn, but it wasn't wide enough. So I decided to go with this shelving that was, I think it's like 36 wide and then it's like 12 deep and it worked out perfectly on here i've got my little fellow kettle um with a new matcha bowl actually this matcha bowl i just picked it up from um pots of josie i think it's called i'll get the right name for you guys i'll link everything down in the description so you um know where i got things but I kind of love the combo. I love the pink kettle with the pink matcha bowl. I have my matcha whisk, whisk, my milk frother, and then a cute little fall setup right here. One of my clients actually drew this picture of me on her iPad. It was for my birthday. So there it says Ashmali and it says my birthday, 910. And then um, I have this little Hello Pumpkin thing forever. Another client of mine got me this crochet bouquet of flowers, which I absolutely love. And then I picked up this little glass right here. Where did I get this glass from? Etsy. It's super cute because I feel like it's very much so spooky, but spooky cute. I don't do spooky scary. So I really like this one. And yeah, I don't want to put too much on the shelf to weigh it down. So that's what the shelf is looking like for now until I like add Christmas things up there. Um, under the shelf, I got these two hooks from Target. They were super easy to install. I actually was supposed to install them with like, uh, what do you call that thing? A drill, but child, I'm not trying to put all these holes in my wall. So I did one of those little um, Velcro sticky things and it's holding up just fine. I just put two of my pumpkin mugs that I love since we're kind of like in fall pumpkin season. And then coming out, let's talk about my cabinet, right? So guys, this is my cabinet. I actually got this cabinet from Room and Board. I really, really like it. It's exactly what I was looking for. The actual cabinet is uh, 60 length, and I think it has a depth of 20. I love this one because I was really looking for something aesthetic with a marble top, and I was able to accomplish that. I really, really love this finish. And then I wanted something with compartments, so if you open this up, let's see. I have got, it's not full yet, which is good. I've got a basket with all of my beans in it. I really love the Kova beans. I'll show you guys. Kova coffee. Their beans are really good. 
I actually have a code with them. It, um, for your first purchase, you get 10% off. This is my favorite bean by them. It's called the Esso Blend, and it's so, so delicious. So you guys can use that code on their website. Um, the code is Maison, and it's for 10% off your first order. But yeah, I keep all of my coffees in a little basket like that. And then in this basket, it's a little bit random. I've got like some matcha powders from the reserve, stuff for matcha, some measuring spoons and things. On the second shelf, just some towels, straws in the back. I plan on using this for cold brew. Um, one of my clients got it for me when she visited New Orleans. And then in the bottom drawer, I house some glasses. Let's close this. So in this bottom drawer, it's kind of like my current fall vibes. You guys can see I got this from Room and Board. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but I've got like some of my favorite fall glasses. This is the at wall glass from Crate and Barrel. And then these are two older glasses I had last year. I think one's from Anthropology, one is from Crate and Barrel. Um, more anthro, anthro, and then some fun stuff. I have some of my designer pieces. So like this is the Hermes Pastafolia uh, breakfast cup and saucer. Perfect for coffee. And then I've got the Dior Monsoor Dior one over there. So just kind of where I house all my cups, my glasses. This is like a fellow, it is fellow, right? Fellow latte glass. And then some of my like things that I use for creamers and of course, you know, espresso and things like that. So cups are in this drawer. Bloop. And then when we switch to the second drawer, well, cupboard, let's open it. Ta-da! On the bottom, I bought these, on the bottom, I bought these little shells from uh, Amazon. They're linked in my Amazon store. And when you pull it out, you have all of your syrups. So on this side, I have primarily Tarani, and then on that side, I have primarily Monin. Um, so great way to house and store syrups that you can easily like get to them. And then the top shelf, I just have some random things. Um, my Christmas glasses are starting to come in. So once I phase out fall over there, I'll put these glasses in that drawer at the bottom. Um, some napkins, Christmas decor, my Chemex maker, some other syrups and sauces, and then that's kind of this little compartment. Oh yeah, this always happens. It is very different, let me tell y'all, trying to shoot a video like this, by the way. <laughs> I will link this for you guys if you're interested in it. It's a really good cabinet. And I feel as though too, when I decide to no longer use it as a coffee bar, I can use it in other places in my house. So that makes me really happy. I also picked up this little rug. It is from Amazon and I feel like it was like 30 bucks, but I really like the color and it's really cozy. So it's perfect for the space in front of the coffee bar. Next up guys, my fridge. So you guys might have seen that video that where I made a video about this fridge. It's from New Air. I really like it. It houses everything that I need it to. On the top, I usually keep my milk. So like my 2% that I love by E2, my um, Oatly oat milk. We've got some chai tea, lots of uh, whipped creams. This is currently my favorite whipped cream right now. I use it on everything. I really need to go back to Target and get some more because it is super delicious, this maple vanilla. Then on the bottom, I have creamers and things, heavy whipped cream. I have an orange juice in there, but it's because I'm hiding it from my son. I'll buy two at a time and I don't want him to scarf through it, so I hide this one in here so he doesn't know there's an extra one in the house. Now, on top of this fridge, Actually, I think that's everything on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a forward facing and show you guys everything up top. 
Alrighty, so back with a bit of a better view. I think the lighting in this whole situation is weird, but we got to keep moving. Um, we've got my Breville Barista Touch right here, Brie. Um, you guys know I've had Brie for two years now, and I still quite enjoy using her. I use it a lot on my like days off or mornings when I have time to use it. Um, but I've got all of the tools for Brie, so this really cool milk pitcher from uh, Normcore. I'm really liking Normcore and all of their stuff lately. And then, um, of course, I guess I don't have to go through all of the tools with you guys, but this is Brie. Then as we move along, I've got some of my tools that I use for making my coffee. So everything is right here on this beautiful Normcore um, temping mat. I've got my Crema portafilter, and then I've also got like my Normcore um, WDT tool, my Normcore, I forget what you call these things, but it's great. And then some other crema tools. So I store this right here. Whenever I'm making a uh, coffee with the Brie, I'll pull my scale out and use it right here. It's perfect um, for that, right? I have a lot of room. That's why I wanted something wide enough. Um, so yeah, I will weigh my beans right here. But when I'm done with it, usually I'll just take this and there's a space for it right here. And that's that. Alrighty, so moving along, some other small details on the coffee bar that really make my day. Um, I really love this little ladder. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby and I put a cute little fall dish towel from Anthropology on it. Um, whenever I'm making my coffee rolls in the morning, I focus on this piece a lot because it gives all of the fall vibes. And then I have this little vase that I use to hold all of my little straws. Of course, we have the green orange theme going right now. I got this vase from Amazon. It was like a set of maybe 12 or so um, because I used the rest of them for my syrups. So my syrups are right here. I've got three fall flavors on, well, two fall flavors, really. Um, this one is the Monin Caramel Apple Butter. I've got some pumpkin spice from Tarani Pure Maid. And then I just kept some vanilla on here. Um, actually, I think this is the Tarani Pure Maid Pumpkin Spice. And then I kept some French vanilla from Monin. So you can never have enough French vanilla. As you can see, these two I've been using a lot. I've also got a little holder for my spoons right there. And then uh, what else? And then we move on to Nespresso. Alrighty, so this is the Nespresso portion of the coffee bar. I've got a new Virtual Plus. I bought this one last year for Christmas as a backup in case the black one ever died, but then it kind of fit the aesthetic of the new coffee bar more, so I put it on here. Um, I've got my Nespresso Virtual Plus, and then I've also got um, this Maestri House Milk Frother that I like to use. I like this one a little bit better than the Nespresso Milk Frother just because it has three settings for frothing the milk. But not only that, you also have but not only that, you also have different temperatures of milk. So really like this guy. It sits on there. Plus, I think they look kind of perfect together. Um, you guys wouldn't believe the arts and craft project that this thing was. I picked it up from Hobby, not Hobby Lobby. I picked it up from Home Goods. And it pretty much just came with the stick, the leaves, and I had to like paste the leaves together, put it on the string and hang it. But overall, I love it. I think it's super cute and adds to all the fall vibes. And then um, I didn't mention my little pumpkins, if you guys can see them over here. I've got my little pumpkins. I got those from Target, like the little dollar section. So it kind of adds to the vibes of fall. And then lastly, so on top of my refrigerator, I'm actually housing my Creatista. It almost didn't make it onto the coffee bar because ideally I didn't really want three machines on the coffee bar. I was just going to do those two. But then I have the fridge and I got this little um, kind of tile from Lowe's. 
um, that's working out perfectly. It makes it look really sleek and it kind of goes really well with the cover on my cabinet. So I decided to put my Creatista right there. I've got a dish towel. I've also got some pods. I like these because it's kind of like the um, Virtual Pumpkin Spice. It kind of goes with the season. But then I added some other pods that are similar in color just for the vibes, you know? Yeah, so I've also got my sauces. I've got my Hollinger's white chocolate, my Tarani uh, chocolate hazelnut, and then Monin sea salt caramel to toffee. Those are kind of my favorites. And then guys, lately I'm on this new kick. I just bought this Beast blender. So I do make smoothies some mornings and it kind of fit in perfectly right there. So that is kind of everything I think. I don't think I've missed anything besides maybe my fall dish towels. But besides that guys, this is the coffee bar. This is what it is looking like. I'm super proud of it. I'm excited to continue to make my coffee here. And then, oh, you guys see over there, there is my Gebby ice machine. I was not trying to keep that on the coffee bar and make it look really cluttered, but it's very close nearby. I can just grab some ice. And this is it. This is what it's looking like. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by the new coffee bar reveal. I hope that y'all like the new setup. And now that we are ready to go, we are going to be back in full swing making coffee videos for the holiday. My next video is actually going to be a taste test of the new Nespresso Blue Bottle Pod number, I think it's called blend number one. So right after I'm done shooting this, I'm going to shoot that one. So stay tuned for that next week. But yeah, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what do you think of the new coffee bar? Think it's cute? What would you change? What do you like? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, you guys can always find me over on Instagram as well, where I do daily coffee things. So if that's something you're interested in, find me at Maison Molly on Instagram. Guys, thank you for stopping by my channel, and I'll see you all next time.